Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. During the spring of 1791, Andrew Jackson, our country's seventh president, was at Springfield Plantation, 18 miles north of Natchez. Springfield was owned by Thomas Green, who was later a representative to Congress for the Mississippi Territory. During the time Jackson was at Springfield, Rachel Robards, a longtime Green family friend, was also there. Robards and Jackson were romantically involved. A rumor evolved that they then married at Springfield, even though Robards' Louisiana divorce was not final. This marriage is not supported by most historical facts. Though later cured by a 1794 official marriage, a rumor of a bigamous marriage plagued Jackson the remainder of his life. It did so to the extent that Jackson killed Charles Dixon in a duel in 1806 after Dixon had publicly taunted Jackson on that purported marriage at Springfield. A duel that history reports Jackson violated the dueling rule of not taking an out-of-order shot. It is said that Jackson took a second shot, killing Dixon, after Jackson's first shot misfired. Though gravely wounded by Dixon, Jackson lived until 1845. However, the 225-year-old rumor of a bigamous big mis marriage is still alive. I'm Stratton Bull, chairman of the Natchez Tricentennial Commission and the great-great-great-great-great-grandson of Thomas Marston Green, a participant in this rumor of a marriage. And this is your Natchez History Minute.